Sometimes it's not easy You gotta open up your heart People working together That's just where it starts It starts by having patience You gotta understand Lifting up each other We collect gently used children's clothing for children aged 0 to 12, uh, which gets brought to our warehouse in West Conchahawken, where over 1,700 volunteers a month sort and pack individual customised packages for children living in low income and homeless situations in the greater Philadelphia region. Philadelphia is the second poorest large city in America after Detroit. It's also got the highest rate of deep poverty. 12.9% of the population are living in deep poverty. Now what that means in concrete terms is that a family of four are struggling to live on less than $11,000 a year. Often our families come to us with literally the clothing on their backs. The children don't have toys, the babies don't have diapers and baby supplies, and Cradles to Crayons provides all of those things. And it's just kind of a point of dignity for our children to be able to go to school just like any other child and have the books that they're supposed to have, the backpack, the notebooks, the crayons, and look just like anybody else. The relationship with our partners is very close and very significant. We spend a lot of time picking the partners that we work with because we want partners to be working with children to help the families transition out of long-term poverty. I get kids running down to my office to show me the new shoes they got or the pretty pink dress or whatever just got delivered that they're excited about. And to see our children excited when so often they feel like failures has a huge impact on my ability to keep showing up and keep doing the work that I do. It's a wonderful place. I, I couldn't think of a, a better model. I mean, it helps both those who are privileged to give, which helps everyone to give, and then also helps those who are underserved. As a family, we wanted to volunteer to sort of pass on these, these habits and uh, to our kids, to let them know the, the, all the good that can come of it, to allow them to experience uh, helping other people who uh, aren't necessarily as fortunate as we are. We absolutely must have a healthy community if we're going to succeed in this in this market and it's it's the right thing for our community it's the right thing for our company in uh, a market like philadelphia where you do have a high poverty rate and you have uh, the critical need is just so significant uh, our view is you have to address some of these most basic needs if you're going to even begin to fix the other problems that that follow there so if you can address the needs of the the children and uh, the basic critical needs there you then can create the environment for learning and then you can create the environment for success in school which then creates the environment for successful career which then brings the whole cycle further along and that's the objective so it's very much building blocks and cradles to crowns is right there on the ground level well, it's amazing to me that we have supplied almost 200,000 children since we started and in the first five years we served 100,000 children. In the last 18 months we've served the next 100,000. So sadly it's an indictment of how much the demand has grown. It's also an indication of how much we have grown in our ability to supply those children. We'll do 23,000 kid packs this year and we will supply about 24,000 backpacks this year. But the even better thing about Cradles to Crowns is the practicality of the mission is that we recognize that a backpack is lovely that it's new in September but you've probably run out of items by October. So we keep those backpacks filled year round. People feel truly engaged, they do important work, they can go away from here and we can tell them that they've helped 90, 100 children. And so it's a very, very inspiring a kind of volunteer experience for, for many of the people who visit here. And I think overall it's by providing a philanthropic experience by donating product and then being engaged with it in a tangible way by actually doing the work to ensure the children get what they need. <laughs>